from Hill Coliseum in Ames, Iowa, as the Kansas State Wildcats take on the Iowa State Cyclones. Side out, get the ball to Solomon Young and let him initiate and work and out. Right away, they do just that as Solomon Young lays it in for two quick points. For the first time ever in Big 12 play. Three, right side, swish. Dubar pulls up off the right side. There's the drive. Selton Miguel. That's stolen by Xavier Foster and the true freshman for the slam. Tyler Harris to be able to step up and also make plays. Hits all the turnovers. That's Carl Lingard. Numbers have led already to nine points off turnovers for K-State. Lingard's already hit one from out there and he hits another. This one of three. The girl uses a screen. And the lob to Davion Bradford and our first good look at the true freshman from St. Louis. That's when Davion Bradford can excel. Set, set picks and roll as hard as you possibly can and let your guards make you look good. Harris looking for Solomon Young gets into the lane and there's Solomon Young. Never led against UNLV or Fort Hayes State. There's Solomon Young able to land him with the left hand. Whittle this down, they've gotten it down to single digits. McGurl the lob again, second time tonight. He has teamed up with Davion Bradford. Johnson, baseline, gives it up, yes. Young. But Miguel able to get there defensively. Williams finds an open lane and lays it in, Rudy Williams. With George Cotted in the game, Bolton looked for him, instead turns and takes the shot and hits from about 12 feet. Both starting tonight, uh, along with Selton Miguel for K-State, all true freshmen. Johnson unable to finish that one. Pack finds him on the run. Because Weber made that a point of emphasis when talking to us because as you see the layup right there. You got to be able to step out and shoot the three if you're a big man. Oh. Trying to lob it, but Foster couldn't get it. Turning, shooting Lingard. That's eight for Carl Lingard. Well, well, you were just talking about being able to step out and shoot a three, and that's exactly what the seven-footer Xavier Foster does. They got their feet tangled up. No foul. Three. Missed by Pack. Rebounded by Johnson, but he loses it, and it's put in by Lingard. When you got young players, he, he told us, he said, hey, mental health is a major factor right now, not just for our team, really. I feel like you're right back in the game. And there's a drive. Can't get him from Bolton, though. Pack finds McGurl. Good ball movement. Underneath in the slam. Bolton defeating his way, and he finds it on the lob to Xavier Foster. Two minutes to play. Coleman Lance saw a crease trying to drive, kicks it out. There's a three off the back rim by Harris. Take it almost stolen. Loose ball picked up. Here's Pack. He lays it in with the left hand. Four point swing late in the game. Yeah, that play hurts. Harris helps him with that shot and makes it 67-60. Timeout Cyclones with a minute 35 to go. A drive and a lay-in for Bolton. Eight-point game. Cyclones need to get something up in a hurry here. They needed that. That's a three from Coleman Lance, his first bucket of the second half, and Iowa State will use their final timeout. They have gotten it down to five with 15 seconds to play. They do foul with three seconds to go. Solomon Young more involved throughout the offense. I, I don't think he got enough touches. And there were times where he was uh, kind of isolated out. Um, secondly, I think they just have to bring more energy because despite Coleman Lands and Solomon Young, not scoring in the second half, they still could have won the ball game had they just blocked out and rebounded. K-State wins it by nine.